This is a prude's manifesto. Here is a list of things I like more than having sex. Reading. Yes. Lying flat on my back, staring at the ceiling. <laughs> Peeling back the skin of a grapefruit. Watching the old man who lives in my backyard smoke weed until he becomes his lawn chair. <laughs> Oatmeal. <laughs> Wet paint. Strong whiskey, cheap whiskey, riding my bike away from parties. How the night swallows me like a dragon, the wet heat of one body alone, etc., etc., etc. Amen. <laughs> Often, I fantasize about tying a blonde boy down to his own bed, leaving him splayed and panting, and then just leaving. <laughs> just walking out the door. So yes, in one version of the story, prude is synonym for sadist, for vengeful puppeteer. In the other version of the story, love rises early to put the water on the stove. Love is a girl who slept beside me, barely touching for two years. Love is whatever kept us fed. And this is how we knew that we belonged to it. And after, when I am leaving, when we finally spend time inside each other's bodies, it is mostly to appease all the friends who've looked in on our sexless bed and called it sham or called it shame. And then, when she says want, it's like she's speaking with someone else's mouth. And when I touch her, it is with someone else's hands. If orgasm is really what makes the body sacred, then the best love I have ever known was sin or sacrilege. So praise also the calm and quiet house. Praise also the most mundane affections, how the body can be satisfied to lie pinned beneath the ceiling of the sky. And how many times have I heard that my body is holy? And how many times has someone held a mirror to my naked and named that beautiful? And how many times has love tried to train the shame back out? Listen, I have been made ghost and reborn as flesh. I have locked the body in the bedroom. I have given someone else the key. I have burned down the whole apartment. I am beautiful. I am holy. I am unashamed. Amen. So often when someone tells me that I should just love myself, it sounds more like they would like me to let them love me the way they want to. But the animal of my body won't come for anyone but me. But me who feeds it, who bathes it in the river, who lays us down beneath the skin of stars, and what is that but loyalty, but undivided love? Yes. Yes.